Well, hello, everybody. This is First Cast. This is Douglas Allen Frazier, and this is a first cast just for you, just a short message that will encourage you today quickly in the Word of God. Now, I'm sitting on my front porch. I've got uh, a bougainvillea plant over my head. But let's look at what it says in Matthew 6, 25. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, nor about your body, of what you will put on it. Those are instructions that make it easy for us to say, Lord, fill all of my needs. Jesus said, don't worry about our life because my heavenly Father will fulfill all of your needs. My needs, your needs. If we will place our trust in him. That is the question. Do you place your faith and trust in him? Or do you put your faith and trust in something besides him? I just kind of read this, that abandon, abandon is a life saver. Now, this is what I mean by that. When I was in the Air Force, flying in the back of a C-130, we had the potential, like all aircraft, in an enemy zone or close to an enemy zone of being shot down. But we were an easy target because all we did is fly around in a slow circle. C-130 is not a real fast plane. But we knew this. We had parachutes with us. We had other survival stuff with us if we had to abandon our aircraft because we got in a position where we got shot and we were going to crash. But we had the opportunity to abandon the ship. And the command was bail out, bail out, bail out. And somebody would go and open the side door and we would go for it. And you know, that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to abandon ourselves to him. He wants us to bail out so he can provide for us in the dangerous situations of life, in the daily situations in life where we're not sure what's going to happen. But if we turn ourselves over to him, if we abandon our thought patterns and place our thoughts with his thoughts, he will take care of us. Now, that is a matter of faith, and it's not jumping into the unknown. It's letting God provide for you because of what he knows and what he has promised. So if you want to see your life changed, be willing to abandon your thought patterns of the way things should go or the way you want things to go and you run into a wall and say, Lord, I'm abandoning my ideas and I'm turning myself over to you. I want your help. I need your help. And I believe you will provide all of the help I need to get through any and every situation. Make this your first cast today.